the hypocrisy of Prince William and Charles is astounding. My family from Harry's Memoir Spare, William and Charles were wondering about why Harry left the UK. Wondering. I mean, it's easy to know why they left. The bullying, the abuse, the insults. And however, they were asking Harry, telling him, why did you leave? And Harry said that, you don't know why I left? You really don't know. William and Charles were like, yes, I don't know. I mean, my family, at the same time, these people were busy leaking and planting stories about Harry and Meghan to the media. You know what? Maybe I get why William and Charles told Harry that they don't know why he left. Maybe I understand that. You know what? Maybe it's because the target was Meghan, not Prince Harry. And they never imagined that Harry would leave with Meghan because their target of abuse, their target of the smears was Meghan Marco. She was the target. So they had no idea why Harry left. Because the truth is, when Meghan was back in the UK with Harry, as senior members of the royal family, the attacks were meant for Meghan Markle. The abuse was mostly towards Meghan Markle. And that's a fact. And that is the truth and nothing but the truth. So clearly, even Meghan in the Harry and Meghan documentary say to herself, she was the target. And clearly, still is. My family, the goal was to destroy Meghan and Harry's marriage. My family, but Meghan being the main target. So maybe, just maybe, that's why William and Charles did not know why Harry left. And even Harry said it, they thought Meghan would leave. It's embarrassing to some, to most, the tabloids, the trolls, that Harry left. And my family, I want to share with you something, an extract from Harry's memoir spare. That if you have any doubts about the toxic relationship between the palace and the press, those doubts must end right now. Those doubts must end, must have ended for those who have read Harry's memoir spare. If you have read it and still don't believe Harry's words, then I don't know how to help you. Because Harry said it all, my family. And you know what? Before I read you this extract, also, just maybe William did not know why Harry left. Because he's someone who believes what he's told by a tabloid. I mean, just reason with me kindly. My family, we heard from Harry in his memoir spare that members of the royal family are avid readers of UK tabloids. They are avid readers of tablets. When they're having breakfast, tablets are brought there for them to read. My family, when William was highlighting from his helicopter, his taxpayer-funded helicopter, that he got as a present from the Queen, and also while lecturing everyone on climate change, on climate change, my family, we saw that there was a tabloid, Daily Mail, right there, 
at the door of his helicopter. So clearly, they are avid readers of tabloids. Also, don't forget one thing also, that my family, we have learned about William and Charles from Harry's memoir, Spare. And my family is that when William went to Nottingham Cottage to physically assault Harry and abuse Meghan Markle while Meghan was not there, my family, don't forget one thing. Harry said that William was parroting the press narrative, the press narrative surrounding his American wife. Using those racist tropes, calling Megan difficult, abrasive, rude, which we saw the tabloids use against Megan Markle. But clearly, tabloids say that it was tough. Calling Megan rude, difficult, abrasive. That's what Tablet said. And then we learned from Prince Harry that indeed it was William. So, my family, what does that show? It shows us that indeed, my family, William believes exactly what he reads from the press, from tablets. And he knows that others also believe it too my family and my family it's just disgusting how william has treated harry's wife megan and also very much racist and xenophobic how he has treated megan marco my family allow me to read you this that shows how deeply in bed members of the royal family are with the media in light of what we know right now about Harry's case my family whereby Prince Harry is set to appear in person in phone hacking court case my family against the mirror news group in which at the time between 1994 between 1995 sorry and 2004 Piers Morgan was the editor at the time, where Piers Morgan is accused of overseeing and approving industrial-scale criminal news gathering when he edited The Daily Mirror between 1995 and 2004. And my family, based on that case, my family... Kindly please just hear this from Harry's memoir spare. And I quote, Frogmore Gardens, hours after grandpa's funeral, I've been walking with Willie and Pa for about half an hour. But it felt like one of those days, long marches, the army put me through when I was a new soldier. I was beat. We'd reached an impasse and we'd reached the Gothic ruin after a Sakachas route. We'd arrived back where we'd begun. Pa and Willie were still claiming not to know why I'd fled Britain. Still claiming not to know anything and I was ready to just walk away. Harry was fed up with them. How can you not know why I left? How can you not know? My family, yet all of us who use basic common sense know why Harry and Megan left. And it wasn't because they wanted privacy as the media tabloids like to say, like to brainwash others into believing that oh, Harry and Meghan left because they wanted privacy. What a bunch of lies. Lies used by South Park and Carnival of so-called experts to mock and abuse and attack Harry and Meghan. 
We all know why Harry and Meghan left. Because of racist abuse, bullying, hounding. And the royal family's complicity in the media attacks against Harry and Meghan. We know why they left. Don't believe this press narrative that is meant to keep Harry and Meghan quiet from talking about the abuse that they endured from abusers. The UK tabloids and the royal family, the firm. So my family, once again, Pa and Willie, who are still claiming not to know why I fled Britain. Still claiming not to know anything and I was ready to walk away. And then one of them brought up the press. They asked about my hacking lawsuit. Hacking lawsuit. That's what they asked for to Harry. The hacking lawsuit. Harry's court case against a UK tabloid. My family have a question. You know, my family, we saw what William did when Megan sued the Daily Mail. William sent his employee Jason North to issue a statement against Meghan Markle in court. So now that Harry has a court case, a phone hacking court case against a UK tabloid, Daily Mirror, in which Piers Morgan, who wines and dines with Camilla Parker Bowles, my family, is involved because at the time, he was the editor when industrial scale criminal news gathering happened. My family, who are the royal family going to send this time to help the tabloids in court? Because clearly, what they are interested in, what they do care about, is my family, this court case that Harry has against a UK tabloid. The royal family wants to please their masters, the tabloids, their allies, the UK tabloid media that they have used to incite hate against Harry and Meghan, that know so much dirty secrets about Charles and William. My family, what would the royal family do now to defend the UK media? Because clearly, they are in bed with them. So, so in bed with them. I mean, you haven't seen Harry in quite some time. And when you do see him, you ask about his lawsuit against a UK tabloid. It's disgusting. It's disgusting and shameful. And Harry said this. They still had not even asked about Meg, about Meg, Megan. Because clearly, they don't care about Megan Markle. It isn't just William, but also Charles, who don't care one bit about Harry's wife and even about Harry's kids. Make no mistake about that, my family. We all know why. Because of their race. So my family had said that they still had not asked about Meg. But they were keen to know how my lawsuit was going. <laughs> because they wanted to feed their press masters information. That's what they wanted to do. To please their press friends by getting info from Prince Harry to leak to a tabloid. My family, because this hacking case, the royal family, Charles and William, one of them asked on Harry's case on hacking. That is what they were interested in. Harry's case on phone hacking against Daily Mirror. Harry also has one against the Sun tabloid. 
So my family, they asked about that. Specifically about that. About that only. My family. Because they must have wanted to feed the tabloids information about that. You know, that's what they wanted. And they also wanted to dissuade Harry from going through with that case, my family. That's what they wanted. My family, you know what? What I'm saying is that Harry is a man who truly sticks up for himself, his wife, and kids, because no one else will. His father won't. William won't. They're the ones feeding him to the press. So my family, if anyone asks once again, who is Harry's family? It's clear who is Harry's family. Megan, Archie, Lilibet, Diana, Dory Raglan, and all of those who have been with him in good times and in bad times. Now my family, allow me to continue. So Harry said, and I quote, they still had not asked about Meg. But they were keen to know how my lawsuit was going. Because that directly affected them. Still ongoing. And Pa mumbled, it's a suicide mission. He said, maybe, but it's worth it. Harry told Charles. I'd soon prove that the press were more than liars, I said, that they were lawbreakers. Lawbreakers. And that's why Charles asked about that case, my family, on phone hacking. Because it is a big, big case. It is a sensitive case. My family, even if Harry is to come to this, to the UK, to appear in court, the media will cover him appearing in court. But don't expect 24-hour coverage from the UK tabloids about this hacking court case. The tabloids don't want to talk about that because it is a sensitive subject. It shows that they, you know, engage in criminal activities. That they behave like they are above the law. The tabloids don't respect the law. This is what this case shows. Now my family, Harry continues, and I quote, I was going to see some of them thrown into gaul, he said. That was why they were attacking me so, so viciously. They knew I had had evidence <laughs> like that. It was it about me? It was a matter of public interest. Now, shaking his head, Pa allowed that journalists were, and I quote, scum of the earth from Charles himself, from King Charles himself, from Harris Memorial His phrase, but, I snoted, there was, there was always a but with him when it came to the press because he hated their hate but oh how he loved their love one could make the argument that therein lay the seeds of the whole problem indeed all problems going back decades my family Charles loves the tabloids love when they give him good press. I'm assuming William Alcate love watching Megan and Harry trashed for doing the same thing that they've done. For instance, Megan being trashed for crawling her baby bump while Kate is praised. Like that. I'm sure that is what Kate and William love to see so, so much. Indeed, they do love their love. The love from the tabloid media. The good press that they get. And no wonder, 
they had the deputy editor of the Daily Mail to work for them because they wanted good press. My family. And I continue what Harry said. Deprived of love as a boy, bullied by schoolmates, he was dangerously, compulsively drawn to the lecture they offered him. Charles cited grandpa as a sterling example of why the press was in anything to get too vexed about, he said. Poor grandpa had been abused by the papers for most of his life. But now look, he was a national treasure. The papers could not say enough good things about the man. So that's it then. Just wait till we are dead and all will be sorted. My family, that's what Harry asked my family. Is that life putting up with abuse? Is putting up with abuse living? Is it life? You know, that's misery. That's misery, that's unhappiness. And that's what they wanted to happen to Prince Harry. And Meghan in particular. To make her leave. To make her leave Prince Harry. But she never left Prince Harry. She never ever left Prince Harry. Never. You know, Harry was cut off by Charles. From money. Did Meghan leave Harry? No. Because the media still calls Meghan a gold digger. Yet Megan has shown time and time again, my family, that what she has for Harry is truly true love. And Charles then tells Harry, and I quote, if you could just endure a darling boy for a little while, for a little while, in a funny way, they respect you for it. I laughed. Imagine a father telling a son, just take it. Take it, my son. For just a little while. What father tells their son to take abuse? What, what father tells their son to take abuse for a little while? My family, this person truly is a failed father at everything. Truly, truly is. So Harry laughed. And said, all I'm saying is, don't take it personally. Charles told Harry. And speaking of taking things personally, I told them I might, I might learn to endure the press. And even forgive their abuse. I might. But my own family's complicity. That was going to take longer to get over. Pa's office, Willie's office, enabling this, you know, fiends, friends, if not outright collaboration. Meg was apparently a bully. That was the latest vicious campaign that they, the royal family, Charles William, helped Oka Street. It was so shocking, so egregious, that even after Meg and I demolished the lie with a 25 page evidence filled report to human resources, I was going to have trouble simply shrugging that one off. Pa stepped back. Willie shook his head. They began talking over each other. We've been down this road a hundred times. They said, you are delusional, Harry. They called Harry delusional. That's what they called Harry. Delusional. And Harry said that, but they were the delusional ones. Even if, for the sake of argument, I accepted that Pa and Willie and their staff had never done one overt thing against me or my wife. Their silence was an 
undeniable fact. An undeniable fact. And that silence was damning and continuing and heart trending. Pa said, and I quote, You must understand, darling boy, the institution can't just tell the media what to do. Again, I yelped with laughter. It was like Pa saying, he couldn't just tell his valet what to do. <laughs> Good one, Harry. Good one, Harry. So, of course, of course, even Harry knows that they had the power to stop the media. That the power to contain them. Tell them to back off. But they did not. They did not. You know? And Willie said, I was a fine one to talk to about cooperating with the press. What about my chat with Oprah? A month earlier, Meg and I had done an interview with Oprah Winfrey. And days before it aired, those Meg is a bully stories began popping up in the papers. What a coincidence! And since leaving Britain, the attacks on us have been increasing exponentially. We had to try something to make it stop. Being silent was not working. It was only making it worse. We felt we had no choice. Exactly what we have been saying, my family. We have been saying this for a long time. You can't expect to leak stories about Harry and Meghan and then them shutting up about it. Keeping quiet. Well, you're always leaking stories about Harry and Meghan time and time again. Always. Every single time. But then when Harry talks, it's like, how dare you go on Oprah? How dare you, Harry? How could you? That's coming from William himself. Whom we've been told that the leaks against Harry Megan are coming from his office, from Ken Central Palace, headed by, headed by Prince William himself, in which Prince William heads. My family, but then they expect Harry Megan to keep quiet. And this is the point exactly. When Megan is not visible, the attacks don't stop, they increase, they escalate. They begin contemplating what is Megan thinking. They claim to know what she's thinking at that exact moment. Megan reportedly thinks this, this, and that. Articles after articles, even when Megan is not visible. The tabloids claim to have the power of telepathy, the power of telepathy to read Megan's thoughts. And they know exactly what Megan is thinking. I even recall after Spare, they are like, Megan reportedly does not agree with, you know, Spare. Had reservations about Spare. Since when does Megan ever side with UK tabloids, ever have the same point of view as tabloids over her husband Harry? Since when? <laughs> My family. So silence clearly just does not help. And Harry continues, several close mates and beloved figures in my life, including one of Hugh and Emily's sons, Emily herself, and Ventigi, had chastised me for Oprah. How could you reveal such things about your family? I told them that I failed to see how speaking to Oprah was any different from what my family and their staff had done for decades. Briefing the press on the slide, planning stories about Harry and Meghan, but apparently that's okay. When it's William and Charles leaking to a tablet, it's okay. When Harry is correcting the lies to Oprah, it's 
not okay. How dare you? How could you say those things about your family, Harry? However, my family, it's okay for William to leak stories about Harry and Meghan to the press. <laughs> hypocrisy. Utter hypocrisy. Harry says, and what about the endless books on which they cooperate? That they had cooperated beginning with Paz 1994 crypto autobiography with Jonathan Himmelby. Or Camilla's collaborations with the editor Jody Gregg. And it's Jody Gregg, the editor of The Independent, right now, my family, who wrote that article. The tabloid Independent wrote that, you know, Prince Harry has been kidnapped by a cult of psychotherapy and Meghan Markle, Camilla's friend, Jody Gregg. <laughs> but somehow, that's okay, that's okay. But not okay for Harry to speak about it. It's not okay. For Harry to call, about, to call out those people behind it, that's not okay. For Harry to call out Camilla, Charles William, that's not okay. The utter level of hypocrisy. The only difference was that Meg and I were upfront about it. We chose an interviewer who was above reproach. And we did not once hide behind phrases like palace sources. We let people see the words coming out of our mouth of our mouths. I looked at the Gothic ruin. What's the point? I thought Pa. I thought Pa and Willie weren't hearing me. Were not hearing me. And I wasn't hearing them. They never had a satisfactory explanation for their actions. Explanation for their actions and inactions and never would. Because there was no explanation. My family. Harry then said that I started to say goodbye. Good luck. Take care. But Willie was really steaming. Shouting. That if things were as bad as they made out, then it was my fault for never asking for help. <laughs> prince William is just truly the prince of hypocrisy. The guy who leaks against Harry and Meghan tells Harry, look, if you were not okay, why did you not ask for my help? The abuser is telling the victim why did you not ask for my help? The utter level of hypocrisy. <laughs> As William said that, you never came to us. You never came to me. <laughs> William is just full of hypocrisy, my family. I think I'll stop there, my family. But one thing is clear. William is full of hypocrisy, my family. And in Harry's court case, against the mirror, my family, I hope that Prince Harry wins this case. I really, really hope that he does. I really, really hope that he does, my family. And proves the tabloids engaged, unengaged in illegal activities. My family, I hope that Harry can be able to do that, my family. Now, my family... I also hope that Harry wins this case, my family. I really, really hope that he wins this case and the tabloids are finally held to account. That they are found guilty of unlawful gathering of information. My family, I hope that that is what indeed happens. I'm happy that Harry is a firm man who knows exactly just what he's doing. And he's standing up for his wife and kids. And I applaud Harry for what he is doing. He's doing a good, good job. Remarkable Mark will did for his wife and kids. And may God bless him immensely. My family. May God bless Prince Harry immensely. And my family. Tell me what you think about what I just read you. About the royal family being more consta concerned about, you know, Harry's phone hacking case against Daily Mirror and the son. Than they are about, you know, Meghan Markle. 
the woman that both Charles and William have abused, both of them, my family. Charles abused Meghan Markle in a phone call to Prince Harry, telling him not to come with Meghan to Bamoro. Before the Queen passed away, Charles contacted Harry, told him to not come with Meghan to Balmoro while abusing Meghan Markle. And Harry had to stand up for his wife, defend his wife like any man husband should do. And he did. Told Charles, don't ever speak about my wife in that tone, in that manner ever again. William also while going to physically assault Harry, abused, you know, his wife, Meghan Markle. My family, all of them are abusers, my family. And abusers are asking Prince Harry to come and ask for help from them and ask for assistance from them. You can't make this stuff up, my family. You know? My family, someone said this, allow me to read some comments on this, please. Now, someone said that learn to endure it. That did not work out for Margaret, did it? Margaret was sad and happy in her life. But guess what? The media wrote glowing things about her. They wrote that Margaret gave up, you know, love for duty. But she was miserable in her life. My family choose love and happiness, not misery. I'm happy that Harry has chosen love and happiness. Are not misery and proud of Harry for that one percent my family. Now, my family, someone said that learn to endure the press. Imagine the rubbish coming out of his mouth. Charles can't even stand having negative press. Even William himself, after his failed tour of the Caribbean. We all saw how he was. He was upset. He was going like, we have to end this policy of never complain, never explain. He was upset at his failed tour. My family, the optics were so bad. William could not stand the negative press. However, you know, they're like, you know, just learn to endure it, Harry. Yet they can't handle a fraction of negative press. The utter level of hypocrisy. My family. The royal family has the power to correct lies being told by the press. They just don't want to. When it came to Meghan Markle, they did not do it, my family, because they were behind the lies being told about Meghan Markle. My family, I'm glad that Harry and Meghan left. And also glad that Harry has always stood up for his wife and kids. Harry is in the right, my family. And the royal family are deeply in bed with the UK media. And it's an unethical, corrupt relationship with the press. My family. Even someone said that after not seeing Harry for a year, the fact that Charles did not ask about, you know, Harry's family but did ask about his lawsuit with the press, tells you everything you need to know about the royal family's priorities. We are not a family. We are a farm, as what the late King George said my family. And that's why Harry, his hopes of having a family, I don't, you know, with William and Charles, that's not going to happen. They are not a family. They are a farm. Harry's family is his wife and kids. The others, Harry, it's a waste of time with them. You aren't going to get William or Charles back. They are not interested. What they are interested in, invested in, is to destroy you and Megan. Harry, don't let it happen. My family, with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Love you all and forever. My family, Harry is a good man with a good heart. Harry, go get Daily Mirror and the Sun and hold them to account for illegal 
criminal news gathering. Stay tuned to our next video. We support you, Harry, 100%. Love you always and forever. What do you think about that extra that I read you from Harry's Memoir Spare? I'd like to hear your opinion on that, please. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of the Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.